We're going to find out together how you can protect yourself against phishing attacks and what best practice you should follow. In most cases, it is still safe to open an email. For an attack to work, you have to perform an action such as clicking on a link or opening an attachment. To protect yourself from these attacks, follow the guidelines below. If the email contains a link that you are asked to click, hover your mouse over it without clicking. A tooltip or information at the bottom of your email client will show you the actual destination that you'll be taken to if you click. If this destination is different from what is shown in the email, there is a strong likelihood that the email is fraudulent. Rather than clicking on the link, copy it into your navigation bar instead so that the destination corresponds to the text that you're reading. Be wary of attachments. Only open those that you're expecting or check with the sender whom you know that it really has come from them. Beware of a sense of urgency. If, in the email, you are urged to perform an action immediately and urgently, be wary. This technique is frequently used to get you to slip up. Look closely at the spelling in the email. While it is true that cyber criminals have improved the spelling and grammar in their phishing, some of these emails are still written in rough and ready syntax. In this case, delete them straight away. Check the message sender painstakingly. Sometimes a single letter's difference is sufficient to deceive you. The domain name can also be similar, but include some differences. Lastly, if you receive a suspicious-looking email from someone that you know, don't be afraid to call her to get confirmation. First and foremost, it's about showing common sense. If the content of the email seems suspicious to you, or too good to be true, it's probably an attack. Delete that email. Lastly, and very importantly, only use your work email for work purposes. Failure to follow this rule greatly increases the likelihood that this address will be harvested and used for phishing operations. See you soon.